Hello YouTube chess lovers and my friends, this is Gunjan here. Welcome to my 46th episode of Chess Trap series. In today's lecture, I'm going to show you a beautiful trap in the Serrat Gambit, which is in fact very common at the club level tournament practice. The critical position arises after the following opening move order. e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, d4, e captures d4, and now we have the scotch gambit on the table with bishop to c4. Well, against it, there are two popular choices, but here we are only going to concentrate on the move bishop to c5. After this, if you recall, in my Dirty Chess Trick 6th episode, I have covered the dangerous Max Lang attack in detail, starting with Castle on the king side. However, here White has another aggressive choice, namely Knight to g5, starting point of our Serret Gambit. So as you can see, there is a double attack on f7, and accordingly, Black has two choices. Well, our main trap occurs when black plays the move knight to e5. However, there are few words about knight to h6. Because after this move, we are going to deal the position in a similar manner. Knight captures f7, this beautiful serret sacrifice. Black has no option, he has to take it. And now you see the point behind this whole sacrifice. White has this nice sequence. Bishop captures f7, king takes f7, and now the sting in the tail, queen to h5 check, not only regaining the piece, but if you carefully look at this position, black has severely weakened the dark squares, and his king is wide open, which gives a good attacking chance to the white camp. Here, it doesn't matter whether black continue with d6 or d5, White's overall aim is he wants to quickly castle on the king's side and then become hell loose on this weak king. So that is how you should respond if your opponent continue with knight to h6. The most interesting part about this position is if you check the online database, there are more than 250 games continue with knight to e5, which looks more logical in this position, not only defending on f7, but also attacking our bishop, and that way the g8 knight will remain the flexible. Well, yup, everything looks so good except one problem that black has straight away fallen into the white trappy territory, and the trappy business start with once again, this dazzling sacrifice on f7. Yup, you guessed it. Knight captures f7, attacking two major pieces. And accordingly, black has two choices. The majority of the game continue with knight captures f7. And that's where our main trap springs into the action. As after the following sequence, bishop captures f7. King takes f7, queen to h5 check, g6, and queen captures c5. If you carefully look at this position, there is no knight on c6, and that means the d4 pawn is a goner, and if that disappear from the board, not only white become a clear pawn up, but again in this scenario where black has open king and these dark squares are weak, white is almost getting the winning advantage. Last but not least, what happens if black find our intention and save the bishop with this sneaky check? Well, no issues because we are going to counterattack this bishop with the move c3 and after pawn takes and pawn takes, in the view of black queen is hanging, 
Black is obliged to remove this knight with knight captures f7. But after that, our task becomes very easy as we are going to capture this strong bishop. And now, if you compare this position, this is an upgrade version of the Danish gambit where not only black king is caught in the center, but because of lack of f pawn and white has a bishop pair, it is only white who enjoys the advantage and get a very good attacking middle game. Not so surprising, even though there is an equal material on the board, chess engine gives white a clear plus one advantage. That's it guys, I hope you enjoy and learn this high profile trap in the Serrat Gambit. Remember, in this position, if your opponent continue with this obvious looking move, knight to e5, then don't forget to punish him with this wonderful sacrifice on f7, which no matter however black plays, it is only white who get the quick opening advantage. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And I will meet you in my next episode very soon. Bye and take care.